Hello students, let us continue with chapter 7 triangles. In the previous class, we learned a criteria for a congruency of triangles which was side angle side or SAS test of congruence. Now we will take a look at the ASA test, uh, ASA test of congruence. There is a theorem, but before we proceed with the theorem, I would like to show you something. If I have two triangles, A, B, C, I know we are drawing repetitive figures A, B, triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R, but this since this chapter is based a lot on the congruency of triangles, we will always have to at least take into consideration two triangles and show some congruency between them. Anyway, so if I have triangle A, B, C where angle B is 45 degrees, angle C is 60 degrees. Again, if I have P, Q, R with P, Q as 45 degrees and R as 60 degrees. And if you try to place one on top of the other, you will notice that ABC will completely overlap PQR and PQR will completely uh, overlap triangle ABC. So given any two angles and a side in between them, let's say 4 centimeters here and 4 centimeters. So given any two angles and a side between these two angles, if they are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. That is ABC is going to overlap PQR and vice versa. So it is very important that the two angles be equal and the included side between the two angles be equal for the two triangles to be congruent. Now we are going to learn the first theorem for chapter 7 which is for ASA test of congruence. Let us read it out. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of another triangle. So what we had just seen that is the two angles and the included side between them if they are equal for both the triangles and the two triangles are congruent. This is a little lengthy theorem but it is very very simple. Please pay attention. So I will say proof. So if I have two triangles, let me draw the triangles let us say here, we will draw it here itself or rather let us say if I have triangle for two triangles triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Now see the sequence in which I have written this ABC and PQR. So A corresponds to P, B corresponds to Q and C corresponds to R. So what I have been given let us just draw the triangles for reference. I have A, B, C and P, Q, R. So if I have angle B is equal to angle Q, angle C equal to angle R and the included side between them that is B, C is equal to Q, R. What do I need to prove? I need to prove that the two triangles are congruent. Therefore, to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Right? So now you must be wondering what, what have I done? Let us see. If I have two triangles ABC and PQR. and this is one side. So if B is equal to Q and C is equal to R as well as BC is equal to QR, I need to prove that ABC is equal to PQR, right? So we are going to have, uh, we are going to consider three cases and this theorem will be proved based on the SAS test of similarity which we learned previously and that was an axiom. So what we are going to consider is three cases. The three cases would be wherein AB is equal to PQ. AB is less than PQ and AB is greater than PQ. So let us start with the first case. I will say, say case 1 and you are going to draw diagrams for each of these. Case 1 AB is equal to PQ. So let us draw our triangles. I am drawing very tiny triangles because we will be needing a lot of space P, Q and R. So I have already been given that B is equal to Q, C is equal to R 
and BC is equal to QR. This is already these three details have been given, and now we are considering the case where AB is equal to PQ. So what do I have? If you see, side AB is equal to side PQ, then BC is equal to QR, and the angle between AB and BC, which is angle B, is equal to the angle here, which is angle Q. Between PQ and QR, therefore the two triangles are congruent by the SAS test of similarity. So case one we have proved. Let's write this down now. In triangle ABC and PQR, what do I have? AB is equal to BC from given given for case one. Right, angle ABC is equal to angle PQR. This is given, and also BC is equal to QR. So these both are already given. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, triangle ABC. Is congruent to triangle PQR by SAS test of similarity. Correct. So our case one is done. Now we are going to consider case number two, which is AB is less than PQ. I am erasing the board now. We'll try and remember what the cases were. Only two cases left, right? Where AB is less than PQ and AB is greater than PQ. So let's take case number two, AB less than PQ. So let us draw our two triangles. And let us mark what has already been given. These two triangles are equal. Uh, sorry angles are equal these two angles are equal this side is and this side is equal so what we are going to do now is since ab is less than pq we are going to draw a construction here i'll place a point say s over here such that ab is equal to qs okay now Since AB is less than PQ, take a point on PQ such that uh, on P take a point S on PQ such that AB is equal to SQ. Right. So now this point over here. If I take into consideration two triangles, ABC and SQR, you can see that ABC and SQR can be proved congruent by using the SAS test of similarity. How? I have AB equal to SQ by this. Then I have angle B and Q uh, equal, and B and C, uh, BC and Q are equal. Therefore. triangle abc and sqr see the triangle sq or not pqr they are congruent by the sas test of similarity once we have proved that these two triangles are congruent by the sas test of similarity what i can say is angle acb is equal to angle srq why corresponding parts of congruent triangles but what has been given that angle acb is equal to angle prq Also, we just proved that angle ACB is equal to angle SRQ, which implies angle ACB is equal to angle PRQ, which means that ACB and PRQ coincide, which also means that SQ S coincides with point A. Correct. Therefore, I have the two triangles congruent. So let's say now in triangle. ABC and triangle 
एस क्यू आर ए बी इज इक्वल टू एस क्यू गिवन फ्रॉम केस टू करेक्ट देन एंगल ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल एस क्यू आर विच इज गिवन Also, what do I have? Angle ACB is equal to angle SRQ. Sorry, side BC is equal to side QR. This is given. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle SQR by SAS test of congruence. Therefore, what do I have? Therefore. Angle ACB is equal to angle SRQ. CPCT congruent parts of congruent triangles, correct? But ACB is equal to PRQ. So C is corresponding to R and B is corresponding to Q. That means A and P are corresponding vertices. Correct. That means A and P are the same points. Therefore, A and P are same points. Therefore, from if I mark this as statement number one. What do I get? Instead of P, I can write A. Right? I'm uh, just hang on. A C B and P R Q. Sorry, that means S and P. A C B is equal to P R Q and A C B is equal to S R Q. So you have A C B. And the angle SRQ and PRQ equal. Therefore, R and Q over here. Therefore, S and P in triangle PQR are the same points, right? So, S and P are corresponding vertices. Therefore, S and P are the same points. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, triangle. If I use this instead of SQR, I can write PQR. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. PQR, right? So similarly for case three, where AB is greater than PQ, I can prove this similarly. Similarly, using steps of case two, what can I prove? We can prove. That triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. So, in all the three cases, what are we proving? That the two triangles ABC and PQR are congruent when any two angles are congruent and the included side between the two angles are equal, which is this B and Q are congruent equal, C and R are equal. And the included side between them are equal. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by the angle side angle property of congruency. Why? Because you have an angle, then a side, and then an angle between, uh, and then an angle. So there are, there is one side between two angles. That is why angle side angle. So this is ASA test is the new criteria for congruency of triangles. So based on this. There's one small note. Now we just learned about two angles and the included side between them. If these three are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. But what if I have two triangles? So uh, let's just change the name for something new. I'll say. Uh, PRS and MNP. 
if I have been given that one angle is 60 degrees, the other angle is 60 degrees, one angle is 45 degrees and the other angle is 45 degrees and I have not been uh, and I have been given let us say any side over here as 6. So, can you say that the two triangles are congruent? Yes, I can say that the two triangles are congruent by AAS test over here. Why? Sum of measure of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, 60 plus 45 will be 105. So, this angle will be 75 obviously and this angle will also be 75 degrees. Now, we can construct n number of triangles with this measurements that are not in uh, equal in shape and size. But given that one side is 6 centimeters, that is after angle 45, after angle 45, if I have the size as 6 centimeters, then the two triangles will be congruent. Therefore, AAS test is a proof test for congruency. So, I have AAS, ASA, okay. So, given any two angles and a side, the two triangles are congruent, okay. So, what is, what is the important point that we learn over here? To prove two triangles congruent, we need that at least one side and two angles be congruent. All right. So, with this we wind up with ASA test of congruency. We will take a look at the solved examples in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.